pretend What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are gonna do this right here. So I decided, hmm, what could I do that's unique and different and that people can use and that's really easy to do for Halloween? So I decided, why not do something really cool? I love using special effects stuff or just more gory makeup. I don't know if you would really consider this special effects, um, but I do. I just wanted to do something that screams like war zone or being in a war zone. I've never been at war. I don't know what it is to be at war. I'm not claiming that I know what it, it looks like. And I didn't really want to look that up just because I didn't want that image in my mind. I have enough PTSD as it is with um, some of the things that have happened to me. So I decided why not go with this. I did a little bit of like cuts. I did a little bit of burnt flesh. Um, I did a little bit of like chipped away flesh or just burned flesh or just like acid type of um, burning of the skin, you could say. So this is what I came up with. Super easy, very simple. You could do this all over the face. You could choose one part of your face. You could do like beautiful makeup on this side and just do this on this side. Totally up to you, but I just decided to do this right here just to give you an idea of something that you could do. Very easy, really quick. The items that I use are not expensive at all. So the first item I did use is this collodion. It's about $12. You can buy it. the smaller one on Amazon for about 5 Totally worth it. Any type of mauve um, lip liner. This is Whirl from MAC. And then I used these um, paints that are activated by water. Literally, these I got at like a costume shop and they each uh, cost me like $4 each and I just mixed the two together to get um, the area around my skin. And I just got like this from the dollar store. You could buy a whole pack for a dollar. Um, and then just a little bit of Fix Plus and a tiny bit of Makeup Forever um, blood. You don't have to use Makeup Forever. You can use any other brand. But seriously, if you were to go to Spirit, I think you might spend maybe $15 on the makeup. Maybe even less um, if you bought some stuff at the dollar store as well. But yeah, I really like the way it came out. And if you guys want to know how to do this, stay tuned and keep on watching. Well, hello guys. So today we are starting off with our MAC World lip liner as always. You can use something similar. Um, go ahead and start sketching out exactly where you want these um, cuts or um, shatters to be on your face. Um, I was just imagining just like rocks, a bunch of rocks just exploding or a bomb exploding and just scraping or grazing my face or just burning my face. Um, and then I was just kind of dabbing it to kind of blend it out a little bit, so it's a little bit um, more natural. Now I'm going in with my favorite product <laughs> that smells, the um, Collodion by Krylon. You can buy this on Amazon. It only costs like $8 for the small one and about $12 for the big bottle. Um, I seriously have, I've had this bottle for quite some time. Um, it doesn't really go bad, which is awesome. But I'm going to fast forward here and I'm just putting it on where the lines are and then letting that part dry and then redoing it again. So I'm just layering it so the more layers it has, the more it's going to tighten the skin and make that nice indent that we want. Um, it's really great when you do it on the cheeks or anywhere you have a little bit more meat on the face because um, you're going to get the indent a lot more deeper than having it, let's say, on the nose or the forehead or the temples. But yeah, I'm carving out just a little bit more because um, I felt like I didn't have enough. You can also use, also use this for like scratch marks as well. Um, it looks really, really good as if you had like 
um, some scars from some scratches, or you can also um, do this process and then put some red like blood just right in the indents and it starts to look like it's fresh scratches. So you can do that as well. I think the layering took like the longest. Now I'm getting my water activated paint and spraying some Fix Plus in it. And I'm going to get my brush and start um, going into certain places of the scratches, I guess you could say, the dents. Um, I just put a little bit in each one, not too much, just to make it look more natural looking. Okay guys, keep going until you feel like you have enough of that red going on. And then you're going to get a makeup sponge. I would break it in half, which is what I did afterwards because I noticed I didn't, to give it some more texture. And just go ahead and make a little bit of a mixture of the red and black paint. Um, very washed so that it just looks like your skin is starting to bruise a little bit and raise and the blood uh, flow is a lot more evident in that area just as if you, you know, scraped yourself in real life and the skin starts to look a little bit more red and raised. And then I was adding a little bit more of that lip liner in certain areas and just shading a little bit and then going ahead and putting a little bit of collodion right on top so I wanted to make kind of some like dips and craters in the face as if like bigger pieces of rock had shattered on my face and then I start to get that paint and with the same mixture and just dabbing it right on top as you can see as we start to layer all these things, it starts to look more and more like skin that has been just really, really messed up with whatever acids or rock that have been, um, or bombs that have been set off for the moment. This was actually pretty fun and it really didn't take me that long to do. I just kept layering and layering and um, and then I'm going to get a little bit of Makeup Forever um, blood. You can get any blood. You don't have to get Makeup Forever. I know it's like really expensive, but I had this from when I was working with them. And just putting it right in those little pockets there. Um, it looks really cool. You could do this also for like zombies if you wanted to. Oh, whoa, girl, you look so tore up. But that's a good thing because that's what we wanted, right? Ooh la la. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, here is the finished look. Now, for me, like I said, I've never been to a war zone or anything. It's just kind of what I've seen on TV, um, nor did I want to look it up because I just didn't want that fresh in my mind. Um, so this is the finished look. You could do as much as this as you want on your face. Um, I just chose to do just a little bit of a section as if I just kind of covered my face and this is what got hit. Um, I really like doing this makeup. I enjoy doing it. It really doesn't take me that long. It's pro It looks probably like it did. So if you want to impress people at work, you want to impress people at a Halloween party, this is the way to go. Super inexpensive. And then all you need to do is just get some army gear if you don't already have it. And voila, if you're a girl, you can put your hair in a bun and a low bun. If you're a guy, you can put your hair, make a buzz cut, do whatever looks military, wear the hat, whatever you want. But this is what I came up with. I hope you guys like it. Let me know if there's anything else you guys want to see, if you guys want to learn more about this um, stuff, if you have any questions. But comment down below, like this video, and subscribe, and tell everybody to subscribe too. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Honey, I'm up to big ten What does perfect even mean? Is there even such a thing? Oh, ooh. Can we switch up all the rules? And imagine a utopia Darling, I'm just so fed up with these expectations They keep weighing me down My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head